Good evening. It's now 6 p.m. and the regular session of the Planning Commission of the City of Lancaster will come to order. Um, I will offer the invocation tonight and Commissioner Horaciano will lead us in the pledge. Would you please stand? <clears throat> Shall we all pray together? We thank you, Father, for this day and for the many blessings you have bestowed upon this community of Lancaster. We honor and pray for those serving members of the armed forces, and we re remember and are grateful for those who have served, and especially those who have sacrificed their life for the freedoms we enjoy in this great country. We humbly ask you for your help and your guidance in identifying the problems we can rectify in our community. Guide us in our efforts to administer the Planning Commission's objectives. Help us to use our time and energy wisely, not to waste it on insignificant matters that benefit no one. Please bless us all to your service. I humbly ask these things in your name. Amen. Please join me in saluting this great nation of ours. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. Thank you. For the roll call, please. Commissioners Randy Hall. Here. Cassandra Harvey. Here. Raj Molly. Here. Fabian Tarasiano. Here. Kave Elihu. Here. Vice Chairman Dan Jacobs is absent. Chairman James Vos. Here. We have a quorum. Thank you. <clears throat> public business from the floor. If an individual is unable to stay through the entire meeting due to extenuating circumstances, a total of 10 minutes is provided at this time during which input may be given regarding agenda items. Individual speakers are limited to two minutes each. Do we have any early speakers, Mr. Ludicky? None that have indicated, Mr. Chairman. Welcome back, by the way. Any person who would like to address the Planning Commission on any agendized item is requested to complete a speaker's card for the recording secretary and identify the agenda item you would like to discuss. Each person will be given an opportunity to address the Planning Commission at the time such item is discussed by the Planning Commission. Speaker's cards are available at the rear of the council chambers as well as on your right adjacent to Mr. Uh, Adams, a deputy a city attorney. First item is our consent calendar, which is approval of the <clears throat> minutes of the regular meeting of July 18, 2011. Do we have a speaker's card on this one? No, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. May I have a motion, please? I move that approved minutes from regular meeting of July 18, 2011. Thank you. I have a second, sir. I second. Thank you. Any other questions, comments? Please vote. Okay. Motion passes 6 0. Thank you. Uh, the next items are new public hearings. First public hearing is a conditional use permit uh, request for an extension on conditional use permit 0608. And I will read into the record. The Planning Commission will be conducting a public hearing tonight on the proposed project on this proposed project that over time has become, become somewhat controversial in nature. The Commission intends to conduct these hearings with respect and proper decorum pursuant to Government Code Section 54957.9. These hearings are not intended to be an entertainment venue proper order certainly will be maintained. 
We understand that many speakers, there may be speakers, I should say, will be offering testimony here tonight, and please give them the respect every citizen deserves throughout the hearing process. <clears throat> when called upon to sp speak, please address your testimony through the chair to the members of the commission. Thank you in advance for your courtesy and cooperation this evening. As announced, item number two, agenda item number two, is conditional use permit 0608. We have received for the record a letter from the, app, uh, from the applicant, uh, George Lane, indicating he has um, in agreement with the resolution conditions staff is prepared. However, I assume we may have speakers. At this point, Mr. Chairman, uh, Mr. Lane is the only one with a speaker slip. And I see. As I don't applicant. know if there are others. All right. What's your pleasure, Commissioner? Should care to hear a staff report, or since it's an uncontested matter? and we have an agreement for an uncontested hearing, what would you care to do? Anyone w wish to hear a staff report? All right, Mr. Lane, uh, you're certainly welcome to speak if you like. Not at this time. All right, thank you then. It would, uh, it would be appropriate then to close a public hearing without objection and consider a motion on this matter. I move that uh, conditional use permit to construct a 395, excuse me, grant a one-year extension to September 11, 2012, based on the findings contained in the staff report and subject to the revised conditions list attached to resolution number 09-23. Second that. Thank you. Did you second that? Yeah. Thank you. All right. It's been moved and seconded. Any further questions, comment, discussion? Please vote. Resolution passes 6-0. Thank you. Indicating a, uh, Vice Chairman Commissioner Dan Jacobs is absent tonight. All right. The next item is a public hearing on conditional use permit number 11-08, uh, Jesse's Pizza. And for the record, we have received uh, today a letter indicating uh, that the applicant, Jose Hernandez, is uh, in agreement with the re proposed resolution the condition staff has prepared. So do we have speakers on this item, Mr. Ludicky? I have no cards on this item, Mr. Chairman. All right. Very good. Um, all right, then. What's your pleasure, folks? Do you care to hear a staff report? We do have an uncontested letter. Anyone? All right, then. Uh, we have, and we have no speakers. All right, then. Uh, it would be appropriate, then, to close the public hearing without objection and consider a motion on this matter. Go ahead. I move that we adopt resolution number 11-11, approving conditional use permit number 11-08. Uh, thank you. I second. Thank you. So it's been moved and seconded. Any further discussion or comment? Please vote. All right. That concludes our action items this evening. The next item is the director's announcements. Mr. Uh, Chairman and members of the commission, just a reminder that we have uh, discussed with you a time for a study session on signs. And we have scheduled that, I believe, on the 12th of September at 4.30, as I recall. At 4.30 p.m.? Yes. So then when we adjourn tonight, we should adjourn to 4.30 p.m.? Since it is a agendized meeting? Yes. All right. Very good. Thank you. And that's it? Those are all my announcements. You didn't bring slides or, or photographs of, of your you really recent excursion? You really don't know what you're asking there. <laughs> no. Well, it's nice to have you back. Hope you enjoyed your vacation. All right. 
Uh, the commission have anything they wish to bring forward, members? No. Nope. All right. So now is the time for public business from the floor, non-agendized items. This portion of the, the agenda allows an individual the opportunity to address the commission on any subject regarding city business. Under state legislation, no action can be taken on non-agenda items. Members of the public should be aware of this when addressing the commission regarding items not specifically referenced on the agenda. Please complete a speaker's card for the recording secretary. Do we have any non-agendized item speakers? I have no cards, Mr. Chairman. All right, then. Then we stand adjourned at 6.11 p.m. This may be in a, a record. I'm not sure. <laughs> at, um, until Monday, September 12, 2011, at 4.30 p.m. in the planning conference room here at City Hall. Thank you for your participation. <laughs>